beautiful people. It's your girl T and I'm back. And so you guys, the last haul video, I mentioned something about doing a crafters square slash Dollar Tree haul. Um, if anybody wanted to see that, that I would do one of those hauls. So I decided to do it. We got somebody who requested it and I'm going to show you guys what I found at the Dollar Tree um, by my house. Now the Dollar Tree by my house is pretty big. They have like three or four rows of crafter square stuff. So I decided for this particular video that I would only pick up things that I thought could be used in coloring books or um, anything that could be used for adult coloring. Um, and so that's basically what I what I hauled. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that you guys see something you like. And if you have questions about anything, just let me know down in the comment section. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with kind of like um, storage slash tools kind of things, okay? So the first thing that I picked up were these uh, storage containers. There's um, six pieces in them. I'm not gonna open these packages. I'm just gonna show you guys. So these have little um, tops that you can take on and off. Um, and there's six of them. They are not glass, these are plastic. So there's six of those. Next, I found a nice uh, plastic palette for paints. Um, so it says here it is an artist palette. You have the space for your thumb to hold it steady and you have six little rounds here and four other little areas here to mix and play with your paints. Um, this is washable. This is It doesn't say it's um, one of the disposable ones so you can wash this and reuse it. Next, I picked up another pencil and brush organizer. As you can see here in the picture, you put these two round discs um, with the legs, one on top of the other on, on the legs, and then you have a stand for pencils and brushes. It says it has 49 holes, keeps brushes and art tools organized, ideal for artists and crafters. It's five inches by 5.75 inches. Um, and you have three legs. Um, and then the two round pieces to make the holder itself. Next, I found this cute little cutting mat. It's very small, but you know, I thought, hey, if you're doing something and you don't wanna, you know, you're doing something with ink and you wanna use this to put on top, it's something you could probably use. Um, you know, just a nice little cutting mat. And this is, um, feels pretty it feels like it's really good quality but um but yeah it's a nice little cutting mat and this is a six by looks like six by eight size next I found this crafters square retractable holder so it says here in the back for brushes for pen pencils and for pictures so this one, since it's already open, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. So basically you, you wind it open and you can actually put pencils and brushes in here. You could use this for traveling if you didn't wanna take like your, uh, your, you know, your nice stuff. You could just put your, put them in here and you have a nice little, and it twists shut. So it has like um, grooves in here, so it twists shut. Okay, so found that. The next item I found was another set of those stackable cups. There are three in one. Um, it was a dollar for all three. So this is actually one item. These are by Crystalline Housewares. This is not necessarily crafter square, but I thought these would be useful in adult coloring. You can set these on your desk and have different projects, pencils from projects or different items you're using on different projects right across or on the side of you in these cute little cups. And these are in white. The next item I found were these brushes. 
these are the nice ones the ones with the black um, um, brush tips are not good at all the ones that with this um, orangish color or yellow the, those are the those are the really good ones so you have two in here and it doesn't say the brush sizes oh yes it does it says this is a 10 round and the large one let's see come on show me is a three quarter inch wash brush so you have a wash brush and a round next I found this embossing tool um, and I thought this would be useful if you wanted to make dots you can use you can dip the little round balls in paint and apply it to your paper for um, little dots on your page if you don't like to use um, you know gel pens to do that you can use paint all right the next item I found were a cute little pair of scissors and of course they're pink I had to I had to get them. They're four inch scissors, they're detailing scissors, and you could use this for cutting your little mats or <laughs> doing whatever you want, or using it to cut out making stencils with, um, you know, little cloud stencils. You could use these little scissors to do the details for that. So, yeah, I thought those were really cute. Next, I found this Crafter Square. Um, brush cleaning pot so you open the top you can put your paint brushes in there with put water put your paint brushes in there and let them get cleaned um, let them soak in there um, it does have a screw top of course I look for pink but they didn't have a pink one um, but yes so that is a brush cleaning pot from crafter square All right, next I'm going to get into, I want to do the books next, okay? So I found this cute little mini uh, color by number, Unicorn Dreams. This is geared towards children. It has five little uh, markers, 24 fun-filled pages to color. And this is so cute. So down here it just tells you the name, the color name. It doesn't show you the color, so you can just use whatever color you really want. Um, you know, any hue of orange or green. Um, but yeah, so they're double-sided, but there's some really cute unicorn pictures in here. I thought this was really cute. The paper is decent. It's pretty thick, actually. And so, yeah, I found that one. Mini color by number, Unicorn Dreams. Next, I found mini color by number in the forest. And again, you get your little set of markers to use if you want to. And then you have those cute little squirrels and chipmunks and all different kinds of animals. They tell you the name of the animals at the bottom. Nice paper, you know. You could get away with using water-based markers on this paper and it probably will not bleed through. But yeah, that's so cute. That one is in the forest. Next, I found this. I'm fluent in sarcasm. <laughs> and there's some really nice ones in here. I eat chocolate for your protection. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Me, sensitive, never. What are you looking at? <laughs> I've run on coffee and sarcasm. Not my problem. I came, I saw, I left early. <laughs> I usually do that. <laughs> Who cares anyway? <laughs> so that is I'm Fluent in Sarcasm. And this is actually a bend in coloring book. <clears throat> the next one is also a bend in coloring book, and it's coloring mandalas for adults. And it's just got a bunch of mandalas. These are single sided, so you can use markers in them if you so choose. The paper's not as thick as the little uh, coloring books I just showed. The paper's a little thinner. Um, but yeah, that is coloring mandalas. Then I have coloring the 60s. And this is also a bend in coloring book. I thought this is really cute for those who like to color stuff from the 60s. It says Summer of Love. Oh, let's see, there's another cute one back here. Look at this piece symbol with all the different um, little uh, 
characters and things inside of there. So yes, that one is Coloring the 60s by Benden. Next we have Etchings, and this is also a Benden coloring book. So you have some luggage. Nice little tropical scene here. These Etchings ones are really nice when they're done. Some roses, balloons. All right, and that's Etchings. The next Benton coloring book I found was Adorable Animals. <laughs> so cute. Cute little fox, deer. Again, these are single sided. Got a nice zebra there. Cute little fox, the one in the front. All right, that's Adorable Animals. Another Bend and Coloring book was Love is in the Air. Love more. Just a lot of love. Hearts. Do all things with love. Love grows here. So that's Love is in the Air. And that's also a Bend and Coloring book. And last of the coloring books that I found that were really nice ones was this one here by Crown Jewels, Endless Summer Advanced Coloring, Stress-Free Coloring Pages. They are single-sided. Look at the sunglasses on the beach with all the little decor on them. I love how they have the ocean in the actual sunglasses. That's really nice. A crab. Sailboat. Aloha with some flip-flops. That's a really cute page. All right, and that is Endless Summer, Advanced Coloring. Okay, the next item I picked up was another set of these Dixon um, animal print pencils. They're so cute. I had to add these <laughs> to the, this haul, this Dollar Tree haul. 100% real wood. Very nice pencils. Next, we're going to get into markers. The markers that I found. Okay, so we're going to start off with Crayola. So they have the Crayola Bold. You get five Crayola Super Tip markers in bold. That's magenta, sun yellow, grass green, light blue, and violet. And then I picked up the classic. So that's five classic colors, which would be red, orange, yellow, blue, and green. I found these jot markers. Um, one tip, one side is a brush tip, and one side is fine tip. You get four in a pack. Does it say if they're alcohol or water based? But you get four colors there. Then I found these centicorns, eight scented um, markers. As you can see, you could get red, orange, yellow, green, blue, two different blues, purple and black. And these will have a scent. These are by Kangaroo. Centicorns. Next, I found these jot markers here. These are double sided. One side is broad line, like the broad side here, and then a fine, a fine line side. And you get eight of those. And again, it doesn't say whether they're water-based or alcohol. Next, I picked up this 20 piece of markers. These are washable, so they are probably water-based. They're fine line assorted colors. And as you can see, you get 20 different colors there. And that's what they look like on the back side. Okay. Next, we have the permanent markers. These are the Jot permanent markers. There are eight of them in the pack. And these will be alcohol. These are bullet tip because they are permanent. Okay, so very nice. All right, and the last of the markers are going to be the metallic markers by Jot. Um, they're bullet tipped metallic ink and they are permanent so more likely they will be alcohol and will bleed through. So those are
metallic markers. You get four there. And then I found these cute markers, the Centimoles. Cent <laughs> you get three markers, six colors, and they will have a nice fruity smell. Um, they are super tip with twin nibs. It says twin nib super tips at the top here. So six colors and scents, six scents, three double-ended scented markers. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, berry, blue, and green, berry, blue, and blue. I'm sorry, berry, purple, and blue. Can I read? <laughs> These are by Kangaroo. All right, those are really cute. All right, now I'm going to get into um, the... Um, Okay, I'll get into the crayons I picked up. All right, so picked up the Crayola glitter crayons. You have eight colors, and they are the glitter, glittery crayons. Next, we have the pearl crayons. Really pretty colors, extra smooth with a pearly lay down. Okay, and then we have the neon crayons. Eight neon crayons, so bold and bright neon crayons in that pack there. We have the cosmic crayons. And these ones, um, well, it doesn't really say why they're cosmic, but they're cosmic. <laughs> cosmic crayons. <laughs> then we have the uni crayons, an eight pack of those. Okay, and then we have the pastel crayons. We have an eight pack of pastel. So these are lighter color, lighter in color, very pastel-y, pastel-like crayons. And last of the crayons we have are the metallic crayons. We have eight metallics. So you get a shimmery slick color of metallic. And that's it for the crayons. Fine, I found a lot of nice goodies here at this Dollar Tree today. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go into, I have some washi tape I found. I found this cute washi tape here. It has the little summer fish going across it. It's really cute. This is by Crafter Square. You get 18 millimeters. DIY um, Delights, one roll of this pretty, pretty, washi tape you can see there really pretty All right and then we get this five piece of a thin washi tape this is deco tape you have a black red orange with design blue with a like a light design and a white with orange design in it okay <clears throat> Oh, actually, I have more markers. I missed some. Oh, no. Okay, the next items I'm going to show you are actually gel pens. All of the gel pens I was able to find. All right, the first set of gel pens are these four glitter gel pens. These are the <laughs> Trolls World Tour gel pens. And you get four blue, uh, pink, orange, and purple. They have a 1.0 millimeter um, uh, tip, which is great, and they're smooth glitter gel ink. These are really great gel pens. Um, if you can find these at your Dollar Tree, go ahead and snag those. Next, I found the Wonder Woman 84 gel pens, and these look like pastel shades. So these are glitter, also 1.0 millimeter with glitter ink inside as well. Very nice. Then I found these uh, six pack of um, gel pens. These are like the neon colors and these have a 0.8 millimeter medium uh, tip. And as you can see, they have neon color uh, ink in there. I found these scented gel pens. Um, these are the Centicorns. So this this pack here has the pink, orange, and purple. And let's see, it doesn't say what the tip is going to be. 
It doesn't say what the pen tip is. Probably 1.0. And then I found another Sentimals, which has an orange, green, and blue. Okay, or, well, they're saying red, red, green, and blue. That doesn't look red to me, but <laughs> I guess so. There's red here on the actual uh, barrel. <laughs> All right. And then I found several packs of these. Um, I think these are the, the metallic. Yes, 1.0 super metallic uh, gel pens. Um, these, I think, have taken the place of the glitter ones. I cannot find the glitter ones like these anymore. Now you can only find these metallics and they are hiding them. They're not where the pens are. They're where the craft stuff is. So um, each pack has eight and you get black, silver, gold. Looks like a red, pink, purple, blue, and green in each pack. So those are super metallic gel pens. These are really nice pens. And that's it for the gel pens, y'all. All right, what do we have next in this box? I have a box of stuff over here. <laughs> All right, the next items I'm going to show you are like paint related um, art supplies. All right, so we have a Crafter Square black acrylic paint, three fluid ounces of black acrylic paint. Then I have this tempera paint, but it's glitter. It's red glitter tempera paint. I figured this would be cool to use in the background or um, um, embellishing, you know, some uh, an item or maybe an apple or something, strawberries or something on a page. I found some watercolors. These are tempera watercolors. So you get a red, yellow, blue. This looks like gray and black. Could be white. It doesn't say on there. Um, but it may, it may be white, but it looks gray here. All right, and that's a five pack there. That's by Crafter Square. And then I have found these oil pastels. Crafter Square oil pastels, you get 12 colors. And it looks like you're gonna get white, yellow, orange, red, pink, like a, a yellow ochre, purple, a gray, dark green, light green, brown, and black. I will not open these. Yeah, the colors are here. They're a burnt sienna. I was close. <laughs> um, if you can see that. Yeah, so those are some oil pastels. Okay, next, you guys, glitter. We all, most of us in the coloring community love glitter. <laughs> so I found some glitter. So this looks like it's a little... Uh, little tip you can actually pour the glitter out the top um, but this is green crafter square fine glitter then we have like um, this is ultra fine glitter actually you have a like a bronze color very pretty look at that again you can pour it out of the top and then here's a red one perfect for Christmas um, if you like to use glitter on your pages, loose glitter. All right. Next, I found some glitter glue. I found this 10 pack of glitter glue. These are 0.33 ounces each. Um, you get two uh, silver, gold, red, green, and blue. Um, so these ones are smaller. You can squeeze them. They have smaller tips. Um, so that's that pack there. Then, guys, I went to one area in the store, and I was like, oh, my gosh, look at all of these glitter glues. Look at all the different colors. Oh, my goodness. So, yes, 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 I got one of each. <laughs> we have the 3.89 ounce bottles. This one is like a bronze, dark orange color. It's very pretty. Look at that. Very pretty. Pick that one up. And then this gorgeous purple. Look at that, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gorgeous. And these are Crafter Square. Then I found a silver one, of course. 
nice to have a nice silver very glittery as you can see then we have a royal blue look at that blue guys isn't that gorgeous very pretty blue and of course I couldn't walk away without a pink one <laughs> yes look at that pink this is so pretty all right now I don't know how good these are because I don't actually have these um, in my own stash I just picked these up for this haul and I've never tried them but you have this neon yellow color gorgeous color and then we have this uh, like a sparkly white clear really really nice for snow angel wings anything like that then we have this magenta this dark magenta dark dark pink it's really pretty have that one there then we have like a neon orange or um, you know Halloween orange there then we have gold look at that gold Wow we have a gold one and then we have green nice green for Christmas coloring all right, and that is all for the glitter, glitter glues. That was a lot of glitter glues, right? <laughs> a lot of glitter. All right, next I found this pack of paper, this paper pack. And this has a lots of different cuts of craft paper. And I was just looking through it, it has some really nice paper. Um, you could use this and cut it to, um, you know use for dresses on your pages and glue them on I mean you know if you're gonna do mixed-media art you could use these on your pages um, and backgrounds or whatever you could just have fun with that so I picked up a pack of that people craft and then I also found some um, sticky some page markers you have the meowical meow sorry meowical cats we have the puppies. And I think you get a hundred. Yeah, you get a hundred in each pack. So twenty each one has twenty-five. And then I found the narwhals. So cute. These are crowned by crown jewels. Very cute. So three packs of, of page markers. And last but not least, we got some stickers and stencils. I'm going to show you guys those. All right, so we have these beautiful stickers here. Look at those jewels. I know a lot of people like to put these on their pages when there is a jewel on there or they want to add jewels. So this is cute. You get 100 gemstones, and they're all in pink, of course. And then this one here is like a turquoise blue, ice blue. 100 pieces there. And this one is a gemstone design, and I thought this was really pretty because it's in stars, but they're gold and silver. That's so pretty. So I picked that up, get five, so one, two, three, four, five, five stars, but you have these little pieces as well. Then I found these cool border, border jewels. So these are jewel border stickers. So you can create borders with these. This pink one. I found them in a blue, a little different design than the last one. See that? And I found a gold, really, really nice gold shimmers and pearls. And then I found another one in pink really really pretty these are all border jewel border stickers and the last border sticker I found was this one here in blue and it has like little blue pearls in the center um, really really cute all right then I found some stencils I found this stencil here you could use these are reusable stencils so you have the alphabets here more um, lowercase and I found an uppercase. And 
I found another uh, uppercase but a different font style, which I like this font style. It's really nice. And then we have them in cursive. And then I found this one also in uppercase, but another font style that really like I really really like. And so you can actually use these to um, use on your nameplates if they're, if they're too big. I mean they're too big, but you could use them if you wanted to on your nameplate pages. And then I found some rub-on transfers. Here's the first one. <laughs> may your fruit be, may your fruit days be full, stay fresh. Your fine apple, wear a crown. Um, your, yeah, they just say it. And then you have these cute little pineapples and you just rub these on your pages. Then I found this one here. It's a rub-on transfer. It has words, different words, happy birthday, fun, special, Special day, surprise, party, let's celebrate. Um, just some really nice words you can add to pages if you're gonna do something for someone special. And then I found this one here with gold. Bon appetit, one cannot think well, love well, sleep well if one has not dined well. <laughs> this is the one about food, so this would be cute on a food page. And last but not least in the box is this stencil, or these are rub-ons, I'm sorry, rub-on transfers, and they're of gold balloons. Isn't that pretty? Yes, guys, so that is my Crafter Square slash Dollar Tree haul. You guys, it's a lot of stuff, and that's not even all the stuff. I got as much as I actually could um, that I thought would be good for adult coloring books, but this is just things that I thought would be good for adult coloring books. They have tons of stuff for people who do, um, you know, needlework or a crochet. They have a bunch of bunches of yarns and needles, all kinds of stuff, roping and all. I mean, you name it, they had it. So if you don't have a Dollar Tree in your area, I'm sorry. Um, I'm showing you these goodies you can't, you know, can't go and purchase. Um, hopefully one day, you know, they'll have a Dollar Tree at your, in your local area. Um, but what I didn't tell you guys at the beginning of this haul video, because I want people to watch it, um, to the end is that I'm actually giving all this away to one lucky person. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> One lucky person is going to win all of the stuff that I just showed you. So number one, the way that you can enter this uh, giveaway is number one, you must tell me how many packaged items I hauled that I showed on screen. How many packaged items I hauled and showed on screen. Number two, what characters were on the packages of glitter gel pens that I showed if they answer that question. Again, what characters were on the packages of glitter gel pens that I showed? Number three, you must be a subscriber and I have to be able to confirm that you are a subscriber, which means you cannot have your settings on private. If you have your settings on private, I'm not able to see that you're a subscriber and therefore I will not add you. And last but not least, Unfortunately, guys, this is going to be a U.S. only giveaway because shipping is really expensive right now. So I'm not going to be able to extend the, extend this outside of the U.S. So this will be U.S. Um, subscribers only. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to have something for you um, later on. Please um, don't be mad. <laughs> I'm going to have something later for everyone. Um the deadline for this, um, the deadline to answer all of those questions and to add that in the comment section is going to be July 6th, that's 7 6 21 at 11 59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will actually, actually do the drawing on July 9th. I need a couple days to make confirm everyone who's um, entered to make sure that they are subscribed and they have answered the questions correctly. 
So I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And until next time, y'all, take care.